Hello students. In the last video, we showed you how to write large numbers in scientific notation, also known as standard form. In this video, we're going to show you how to write decimals in scientific notation. So we'll start by just writing 0 0.001 as a power of 10. Well, tenths, hundreds, thousandths, so that number as a fraction is 1 over 1,000. So that's the des sorry, the fraction equivalent of that. A thousand can be written as a decimal, one over ten to the power of three. Sorry, as a index, one over ten to the power of three. And from what you learned about your index laws, that can then be written as ten to the negative three, because negative indices just represent fractions. So write zero point zero zero one as a power of ten. The answer is ten to the negative three. Well, how would you write 0 0.005 in scientific notation? Well, that number is just 5 times that number, so it's going to be 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So the way we're going to uh, write very, very small numbers, in other words, decimals, is using negative indices. But let's go ahead and show you a fast way to do that. Okay, to put a small number into standard form or scientific notation, such as this number just here. But once again, the first number has to be between 1 and 10. So you push the decimal point after the first non-zero digit, 4.32. Count how many places you move the decimal point. In this case, it's going to be 11 places. So therefore, 4.32 times 10 to the negative 11. Because we move the decimal point back to the right, it has to be a negative index. Now, one thing to be a little bit careful of, students like to count zeros. So what a lot of students will do when they're first learning this is they'll go 3, 6, 9, 10 zeros, and they're going to write it as 4.32 times 10 to the negative 10. So it's not the number of zeros between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit it's how far you move the decimal place. Or if you want to count zeros, just add one on to your answer. So 10 zeros, one more makes it 10 to the negative 11. Okay, I'll do the first, um, I'll do this one here and let you do the other three. So I want to write 0 0.00034 in scientific notation. Now the secret is I've got to put the decimal point between the 3 and the 4, so I'm moving the decimal point there. So 3.4 times, and I moved it 1, 2, 3, 4 places, so that's 10 to the negative 4. So it's all pretty easy once you understand um, how to do it. Okay, go ahead and write the other three numbers in scientific notation, please. Okay, let's see how we went. Now this one here, I'm putting the decimal point after the 8. Because it's just a whole number, we don't put the decimal point in, so it's 8 by 10 to the negative 3. So you could put 8 point or 8.0, but there's no need for any of that. This one here, I'm moving the decimal point two places. So it's 1.3 by 10 to the negative 2. And the last one, I'm moving the decimal point between the 6 and the, and the 0 following it. So 6.08 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 to the power of negative 6. And if you like to use the counting 0 method, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros in front of the 6 and add one more to get 10 to the negative 6. Okay, if we're going back the other way, here are three numbers written in scientific notation. Let's change those back into normal numbers. So I'll do the top one and then let you have a go with the other two, please. So the secret here is you've got to leave a little bit of space to put the zeros. So when I write the six down, I'm going to put it a bit to the right. Okay, now the decimal point at the moment is behind the six. I've got to move it back three places to the left. So one two, three, decimal point, and then put a zero in front. 
So the decimal point was after the 6. I moved it to the left three places because the power is 10 to the negative 3. Okay, have a go with the remaining two questions, please. Okay, let's see how we went. Now, once again, don't start writing the 1.05 right after the equal sign. Give yourself a bit of space. So 105, the decimal point was there. I've got to move it back one place, two places, and there's the answer. Shortcut, by the way, some students like to think, well, negative three, that's, I'm going to move it three places. I want two zeros. So the number of zeros is one smaller than that. Here it's negative two, so I just have one zero between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. And for this one, I'm going to have eight zeros between the decimal point. So the short way of doing this one, if you wanted to do the uh, zero method, I guess you could call it, is to put in eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the three, six, eight. Maybe that's a faster way to do it by just counting zeros. Quick check, three, six, and oops. Three, six, nine. I've moved my decimal point nine places altogether. So that's how we write scientific notation for very small numbers. Okay, in the next video, we'll just look at some practical applications of this.